welcome to a quarantine cooking episode of Quarantine Cooking with Amanda. But as the world goes back to normal, there's less quarantine, which means there is less quarantine videos. But you can head over to my YouTube channel and subscribe because I will still be publishing a lot more videos. But today, I'm going to tell you about the world's largest fruit. Do you know what it is? I'll give you a hint. It's right in front of you. It is jackfruit. You may recognize it in this bag, which you'll find at Publix in the where the fruits and vegetables are on the same shelf as the tofu. This is jackfruit in a bag. I actually haven't tried this text mix kind, but that's the next video. That is what comes from this jackfruit, which can be super overwhelming because it is the world's largest fruit. And if you see this hanging on a tree, what in the heck to do with it? I'm going to show you. You can head over to slowfoodskitchen.com slash news. I have some really cool blogs on recipes and more information on jackfruit, which I will summarize for you here. So this is jackfruit. There you go. It grows on trees. They grow up to about 80 pounds. This one's maybe 35 or so. They're pretty big. Um, there's two main ways to eat jackfruit. So if you were thinking of having like a pulled pork sandwich that's vegan, so you would use jackfruit as you would cook the flesh, you want a green unripe jackfruit. This one is on its way to being ripe. That's okay. You could also get your jackfruit ripe, so it would be even more yellow in color, and that means you eat the sweet fruit from the seed pods on the inside. And I'm gonna show you all of that in today's video, so stay tuned. My awesome friend Jen gave me this jackfruit how cool, I'm so excited. So her fruit is, her tree is, no, doing great. Jackfruit trees take uh, about five years to produce their first fruit. So to get this big of a fruit, it's gotta be a pretty old tree. But she did mention that her last batch of jackfruit, when they cut it open, didn't really have much fruit in it. So we're gonna dive in. So if you have a whole jackfruit, and you're like, okay, well, what, what do I do? You're supplied, you need some gloves. There's sap on the inside that will stick to everything. So gloves are a good solution. You need a knife. I also have some oil here, which I'm gonna put on my knife, which will keep the sap from sticking to my knife. I have two containers. One will get fruit, one will get the fleshy meat, and this paper will where you are put the trash, the scraps. Okay, so let's make it happen. You wanna think of your jackfruit as a pineapple, as a thick outer skin and a core on the middle. So let's just go to it. Do not do this unsupervised. If you're a child, get your parent, and don't be irresponsible with knives. Okay, now that we have that disclaimer out of the way. So we are going to cut it down the middle. So because it's much bigger than a pineapple, I wanna cut it into four pieces that will be way more manageable. Oh, you know what? I didn't even put oil on my knife. Awesome. So <laughs> you can see I already have a bunch of sap sticking to my knife. So now that kind of, you know, it's fine. So I'm just gonna put some oil on my paper towel. And even though I kind of screwed up and did not put oil on my knife first, when I'm all done, I'll be able to use this paper towel with oil on it and it, I'll be able to rub all the sap off. So that's what we are doing later. In the meantime, I'll be adding some more oil. Okay. So I'm just gonna cut this down the middle. I love jackfruit and it does have um, some really good health benefits, which is not surprising because it's a plant and it's a fruit. So of course it has some benefits. I'm a little distracted with cutting this guy open so I cannot quote those to you at the moment, but that's on my website, on the blog. I am going to, well depending on how it looks, I'll clean out all of the meaty flesh part, and I will cook some of it now, but I will freeze the rest because I'm gonna get a lot of jackfruit out of here, hopefully. Really hope there's a lot of good fruit in here. This grew on my friend's tree in Florida. She's up in Madeira Beach area. All right. So the reason that you wanna cook, well, when you make things like, you know, pulled jackfruit, and you cook it, treat it like shredded chicken. However you would use shredded chicken or pork, you can use jackfruit. 
The trick though is you want it to be unripe because as, it st as the whole fruit starts to ripen, um, the inside gets sweet and it's just not good to cook. I wouldn't, it's not good. You need an unripe jackfruit if you're going to be sauteing with flesh. But if you have a ripe jackfruit, the seed pods have this delicious fruit around them. People say it tastes like juicy fruit and it is so good. So there is a minute for there. This is really sad. This might be too ripe, but we are going to find out. So I'm just going to keep cutting it down the middle here. Oh, I'll show you in a second. Okay. So I'm going to put some oil on my cloves. So this is the inside of a jackfruit, and it looks like it's not too ripe. I'm super, super excited. So this is the fleshy part. So I'm going to, I'll show you how I separate this out. And this will be what you saute in a pan and cook like, you know, shredded chicken. This here is the fruit, the seed pod, that's the seed right there, which you can actually, um, you have to cook them. They do have to be cooked. Bake them in the oven for 30 minutes. And you can make hummus, jackfruit hummus from that. So this seed pod is surrounded by um, flesh, you know, sweet. This is if someone is eating jackfruit sweet, this is what actually will become bright orange and will taste like juicy fruit. Oh, oh, <laughs> gross. It is not ripe and it does not taste good. But that's great, because that means that this meaty part is perfect. So you can see here, that's gross. So I'm gonna sip on my kombucha flavor like root beer. Crazy taste of root beer. All right, so these, now, if this had stayed on the tree for a lot longer and was actually ripe, these would be bright orange and delicious. So, if I get a ripe jackfruit, I'll show you. Awesome. Cool. So, let's do a little bit of, a little bit more here. There is just so much sap. I can't remember if it's more sap when it's ripe or more sap when it's not. I don't remember. Okay. So, we're going to cut this again one more time. And if you're thinking this is way too much work for food, that's why you have jackfruit parties. So if you want to come, socially distanced, wash your hands and hang out with me and have a jackfruit party, we can clean jackfruit together. And then it's just, it's a win-win. Win. Okay, this is such a big jackfruit. I'm very, very excited. So I'm gonna cut through the rind. Look at that. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you how I clean it and then that's gonna be it. Okay, I have these cutting boards so I don't get sap everywhere. Because that would be miserable. Put some more oil on my knife. All right, so let's just cut this in the middle and have a little bit more workable piece. If you have questions, put them in the comments below. All right. All right, so now from here, we want to move, remove the rind and the core. So. We're going to cut out the core here, and you can see if you were to cut it that there's just a thick core that we want to get rid of. So we'll cut that out and we'll just toss that or compost it. And then, so I could cut the rind off too if I wanted. Oh, it's so sappy. It must get less sappy as it gets more ripe. So oil is the key here because that's what's going to keep it from getting everywhere. So if I want to, I could go through and I could cut the, the rind off. And if you ever bought jackfruit in a can, you may have noticed that you saw the flaky parts that were coming off attached to this even harder outside piece, which maybe you can see there. You can eat it, it just takes longer to cook. Um, I would cut it in small pieces, but I would just, I would get rid of it. Okay, so to actually clean the jackfruit, all we want is the white strips. That's going to be our meat. I have never opened one that was this green or this unripe. Um, so I, the fruit, the, not the fruit, the part we're going to cook like meat should be good. I'm going to cook it and I will let you know. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to separate these pieces out. 
And this is where it's important to keep your gloves oiled. Man, this is, this is really unripe. Okay. So when you go through it, because it is so unripe, the fruit around the seed pod is also white. But that part, as you go through and separate this with your fingers, the seed pods will they'll just kind of stick out and you can tell that it's not the piece that you want. And these I don't think will ripen at all. Sometimes if you get it, they can continue to ripen, but I'm not sure. So this is what we want. We want this, this part. So I'm just going to work through here and I don't know if I can rip it out. So this is where I would need to cut off the rinds. So I'm just going to keep working, separating the white fleshy part and collecting jackfruit. And then I will cook it and let you know how it goes. I, I'll probably barbecue some. I'll probably saute some with just salt and pepper. Um, there is going to be so much fruit, though, that I am going to freeze a lot of it before cooking it. And then I can just pull it out of the freezer. And then I'll have jackfruit. So I'm super excited. If you want some jackfruit, let me know. So you see how I cut off the rind. And now I can get these. They're even falling out. These stringy pieces. So that is how you clean a jackfruit. So if you want more recipes or you want more information on jackfruit, go to slowfoodskitchen.com slash news. The website it will be up soon. I had to take it down for a little bit. Or you can just put questions in the comments below. And happy jackfruiting. I'll see you later.